Hi friends. Today the story we're reading is Lady and the Tramp, a trusty babysitter. It was a beautiful evening. Lady and Tramp were dressed up for dinner. It was their anniversary, and Tramp had made reservations at Tony's. He booked the same table where they had dined on their very first date. Come on, Pidge, Tramp called. We're going to be late. But Lady was busy making sure their pups, Scooter, Fluffy, Ruffy, and Scamp, were fed, bathed, and ready to be tucked into bed. Now, be good for your babysitter, she said. We will, Mom. The pups replied, you too, Scamp, Tramp said, eyeing his son. Just then, a knock sounded on the door. Uncle Trusty, barked the puppies. Wagging their tails, they bounced on him affectionately, licking his floor-swooping ears. You're our babysitter, Scamp asked. I am indeed, Trusty replied. Don't let me give you any trouble. Don't let him give you any trouble, Tramp said. Trouble? Why, this little youngin wouldn't dream of giving Uncle Trusty any trouble, said the old dog. Would you, Scamp? Lady and Tramp kissed their puppies on good night and headed towards the door. Don't let the puppies stay up too late, Lady told her old friend. One bedtime story and it's straight to bed. Oh, don't you worry, little lady. Trusty said, if my grandpappy taught me anything, it's how to put a dog to bed. I'll have him snoring away like old saw in no time. Trusty followed the puppies to the parlor and settled on a cozy cushion right next to their bed. Now, then, where was I? He said. You were going to tell us a bedtime story, Scooter said. Oh, yes. Trusty chuckled. A bedtime story. Fine idea. Don't mind if I do. Let's see how. How does it go again? Once upon a... Time, Fluffy suggested. No, Uncle Trusty shook his head. Or wait, maybe yes. That sounds familiar. Once upon a time, he restarted. Er, uh, where was I again? While Trusty tried to remember his story, Scooter, Fluffy, and Ruffy yawned and closed their eyes. Soon they were fast asleep. Trusty smiled down at the pup. Well, now, that wasn't so hard, he said. I don't know why Lady went on so went on so. I do declare there's nothing to put in pups to bed. Sweet dreams, little youngins. Trusty leaned over the pup's basket to give him each a gentle peck. Wait one minute, dog in minute. Wait one dog in minute, he said as he came to the third and final furry forehead. Weren't there four of you before? Scamp was gone. Which way did he go? Trusty asked. Turning around, he turned two more times, but Scamp still wasn't there. Trusty put his nose to the floor in search of Scamp's trail. Unfortunately, Trusty's sense of smell had been gone for years. That had never stopped him before. It wasn't going... And it wasn't going to now. Trusty sniffed and sniffed, following his nose, straight into the piano. Oh, Excuse me, ma'am, he said. Slowly, Trusty made his way to the kitchen, which looked as if a storm had just blown through it. There were smashed eggs everywhere, milk bottles laying empty, their con contents forming puddles on the floor. Big sacks of flour had been torn apart. I'd say the pup's been here, Trusty said with a sigh. Skip wasn't there anymore, but he left a trail of Flowery, fa flowery paw prints. Trusty followed the prints to the living room, and looked even. It looked even worse than the kitchen. Jim Deere's newspaper was in tatters, and his slippers were torn to shreds. Darlin's knitting had been unraveled. Yarn crisscrossed the room like a giant spider web. Which way did he go? Trusty said again following the yarn around and around and around the room until it at last led him back into the, the hall and to the doggy door. Scamp, Trust called, eyeing the holes dug over all over the yard. Scamp, you come back here. You hear me? Listen to Uncle Trusty now. But Scamp heard Trusty 
He wasn't letting on. Trusty was about to call Scamp again when he noticed the hole at the base of the wooden fence. His old heart began to thump loudly. Trusty hurried over to the fence and as fast as he sniff his stiff old legs would allow. Dog gone it. This pup gone and flown the coop, he moaned. What was he going to do? Trusty poked his head through the hole when then quickly pulled it back. He had seen Lady and Tramp strolling down the street towards the house. Poor Trusty. His beloved lady left her dear little puppies in his care and protection, and he let her son run away. Trusty plodded back to the house and sat by the doggy door to meet the couple and break the bad news to them. Trusty, Tramp said, beaming, as he and Lady stepped through the door. How'd it go? Before Trusty could answer, Lady pranced up and kissed his cheek. Dear Trusty, we really can't thank you enough. Let us go peek in on the pups, shall we? Then you can tell us how everything went. Trusty hung his head and followed Lady into the parlor. Dreading the story he had to tell, how was he going to explain he had lost Scamp suddenly? Lady turned around. Trusty, she said. However, did you do this? Or do what? He asked, confused. Lady pointed to the pup's basket. Why get Scamp to go out? Of, get Scamp to go to bed, of course. Even we have trouble making him settle down. Well, would you look at that, Tramp said, eyeing his son. Well done, old champ. I'll tell you something. We'd definitely be asking you to babysit again. I hope you enjoyed reading Lady and the Tramp's Bedtime Story. Tomorrow we'll be reading Captain Hook's Shadow's Bedtime Story. Have a good day. Bye.